you're interested to see um, the results that I get from using these tools, um, please give me a thumbs up. So my hair has been freshly washed and to blow dry my hair I'm actually going to be using some products that I've never used before and I've been wanting to try. So I got these Qi products. Um, one is the Qi Silk Infusion um, Silk Reconstructing Complex and the other one is the 44 Iron Guard Thermal Protection Spray. So this is like the heat protectant and I'll add this after. But before I do these two steps, um, I've actually got the Apogee Keratin and Green Tea Restructurizer. Um, and I decided to pick this one up because um, I was watching a couple of videos on, you know, 4C Naturals doing silk presses and this is one that came up in some of the videos that I watched. Um, and then I also got It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. This was another one that also came up in as a leave-in conditioner. So for my leave-ins, I can use either of these. I got both, you know, just to have the two. So I'll probably use the Apogee one today. Um, and then add these products as well. And then here's my Dyson Air Wrap Styler and I've added the Firm uh, Smoothing Brush. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to try this out and see how it works on my hair. Okay, so I'm just gonna section my hair into four, which is what I usually do when I am blow drying. <laughs> Actually, I'll just do it into two and then section the half into two as I go. Okay, so I'm going to work in sections. So I'm going to spray the products on each section uh, before I blow dry it instead of, you know, spraying my whole head because it'll most likely dry out by the time I'm ready to blow dry. All right, so I'm going to start with my Apogee. And get it nice and damp. Then I'm going to spray some of my Archi heat protector. Oh, this one's got a bit of a smell. Very perfumed. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of my uh, silk infusion. <music> actually detangle it just so I can limit how much hair will come out when I use the brush to blow dry it. So I'm just going to use my tangle teaser and just detangle it a little bit. I detangled it in the shower um, so I mean most of the knots and stuff is out but I just want to make sure it's as smooth as possible so I don't get snags when I'm blow drying. Alright, so if that's nice and detangled, I can, you know, run my fingers through it fairly okay. So that's a good indication. And then I'm just going to split that into two flip this away and I'll work with this back section. Alright, so let's see. Okay, that's the sound. Alright, so that's quite a strong sound, but it's not like noisy. It sounds kind of like the hand dryers that they have in the toilets. I'm going to put the heat on the first one um, and then the fan on the top ones because there's three fan settings, so I want it as powerful as possible. And let's go. Okay, so just from using it, 
Um, this one, I feel like it's a little too firm um, for the beginning, so I'm going to switch it to the soft, the one with the soft bristles and see how that works first, and then maybe I'll finish it off with this one. and a combination of the brush but my hair right now is super super soft it actually feels silky so that silk infusion I think yeah it's living up to its name feels nice and silky um, and usually when I blow dry my hair I have an issue with the knots at the end um, I can never really get them out and get my ends straight but look at that like I can run this comb through it so easily which, you know, that's not usually the case. Um, I have a Philips uh, blow dryer with a brush attachment and I feel like that one yanks out my hair a bit more um, and it doesn't smooth it as much as this brush has done here in conjunction with those Chi products. So, so far I'm loving it. I'm gonna finish this side here and I'll be back. Oh, and then in regards to uh, the difference in the brush, I didn't really notice I'm um, switching from the firm one to the soft one, but I'm going to try this next section with the soft one and see if, you know, I see a difference. <music> getting straighter as I blow dry so yeah I'm gonna switch to the other uh, the other brush <laughs> you don't know how excited I am my hair feels so silky even in its blow-dried state it feels so silky it's so soft this is the straightest that I've ever been able to get um, you know my blow-dry results when I've done it myself I'm gonna continue um, doing the rest of the hair and I'm just gonna speed it up and then come back to you when I finished my whole head <laughs>
guys so this is the final result of my blow dry um, my hair feels super light super fluffy um, I don't have you know a lot of snags or knots at the end it's been able to really smooth out all my hair um, that's one issue I've had in the past when I blow dry my hair is like I wouldn't be able to do this honestly guys this brush it did its job it definitely you know smoothed my hair as I was blow drying it what I like about it is I could really get it um, sitting nicely in my roots before I brushed it um, out um, so I feel like I was really smoothing my roots as well um, the heat um, is distributed like nicely I don't feel like it's burning my hair it was on the first heat setting and that was perfect it was just hot enough that you know it was applying heat but not too hot that it felt like it was burning and not too cool like I felt like I wasn't getting enough heat and for the fact that I've been able to blow dry my hair in a little over 30 minutes that's amazing because I said to myself I've got to pick up Seb within like the next 30 or so minutes so I'm giving myself about 30 you know about 30 minutes to do this and I was able to achieve that so, so cutting down on time alone that's a huge bonus for me because being a mum of two now I really don't have time for my hair as much as I would want to so I want everything to be quick and easy and fuss free and stress free so that's brilliant in terms of how much hair came out um, it actually wasn't a lot like I'm gonna pull it out I mean I'm not too fussed about you know hair coming out when I blow dry because especially using a brush attachment because you know it is pulling and it is tension on the hair so you're definitely gonna lose some hair um, as long as I'm not like losing chunks let me see if I can show you how much hair came out and also when I use this one I definitely prefer the um, the the firm one better than the soft one I just feel like on my hair type um, I needed that extra firmness this one was a little too soft so it was snagging a bit more especially on the ends you know when you start blow drying your hair from the ends okay so that's literally how much hair came out so yeah super happy with these results and these chi products I mean it does say silk infusion so in terms of my hair feeling silky even though it's in a blow-dried state um yeah it's definitely lived up to its name so um you know if this is the results I got just blow drying I'm super excited to see what it looks like after I use the Dyson Corel um, cordless straightener so let's move on to that okay guys so it's now a few days later um, because I wasn't actually able to straighten my hair on the same day I just got busy you know with the kids and whatnot so I'm now getting the time to be able to sit down and flat iron my hair so I had threaded my hair into six sections just to kind of keep it stretched out um, and I've just taken it out so I just quickly run the um, the air wrap styler with this brush attachment and just put it on the first heat setting I just went through the six sections that I had it in just to stretch it out a little bit more all right so this is the straightener here I charged it last night um, so it's fully charged and I've just got it sitting on the dock now when you put it on the dock to charge it actually makes a sound you hear that so that means it's charging so in between use I'm gonna just stick it back on the dock um, if I need to but you can also use a corded this cord here is magnetic and it just attaches to the end of this and then you can use a corded as well Hi. <laughs> okay so I had to watch a video to see what this little uh, thing is about okay so I'm just gonna show you this is um, a flight mode uh, thing so it's got this foam bit here so you actually have to take it off okay so it's off now and then if I open it up like this turn it around when I am on a plane and I need to take it uh, in my hand luggage um, or carry-on luggage you actually keep this out here and then when you lock it it disables I think the battery basically the straightener can't be used um, so when I need to use it you push it in like this so then when you turn it on see it's got a full charge and then it'll tell me to adjust my heat settings see that there 
if I pull it out and I turn it over and I turn it on, and then you saw that plain symbol um, to indicate that flight mode is activated. So I can't actually press any buttons or do anything with it. So I've just turned it on and Okay, so it says 185 and then 210 is the highest. So 185, 165. Okay, so it's got three heat settings and that's pretty much it. So today I'm going to do mine on 210. I've actually never um, flat ironed my hair over 200, but I'm going to do 210 today. All right, so I can smell it heating up. And yeah, it's pretty much hot already. And also, uh, this travel pouch, um, this section here is heat resistant. So if you need to take it with you traveling and, you know, in between use, you can also place it on here because it won't burn. All right, so I've just got some combs and clips here. And I'm just going to section my hair off in half and put half away. Actually, I'll split this into two as well. And clip. And I'm just going to start with this back section. I'm going to take, you know, fairly small sections like that and clip again. And then I've just got this comb here. I'm going to use it to do the chase method. Oh, that's hot. And then just run it through. Okay, so that's one pass. And yeah, it got it pretty straight. I think I'm okay with that. My roots are done. I don't feel like I need to do another pass. It's a bit tricky doing, you know, the back and trying to show you guys. So let me just do some of this and like show you again when I'm kind of closer to the front. <laughs> actually forgot to put uh, the chi uh, silk infusion I was gonna add a bit of that before I started straightening it so I'm going to add just a tiny a tiny bit to the section I've already flat ironed and then just run that flat iron through it one more time and that gives it that shine that I'm looking for so I'm just going to add some to each section as I flat iron it. So I'll just add it to this part here. Just a little bit. Make sure to get those ends. I'm going to continue and I'll be back when I am closer to the front. <laughs> to trim.
right here this uh, brush is just gliding through it I'm still getting the poofy ends though so I'm obviously doing something wrong um, it's just not bone straight I mean I can definitely do a lot with my hair like this you know in terms of being manageable you know it's gonna be so much easier while it's in this state and I mean as much as I love my kinks and coils this is also the beauty of having 4c textured hair um, you know it's versatile you can have you know a big afro and a big blowout one day and then you can have silky straight or straight hair um, another day so yeah I love the flexibility of you know our 4c hair although my hair didn't get silky straight it still definitely you know has movement it's not stiff all right so I'm just gonna finish this section and then I'll come back and I'll give my feedback on the uh, straightener Because your girl is tired. <laughs> just gonna add a bit more on the top and just run it through my hair. And I'm just gonna brush it through. Man, this is taking me back to my relaxed hair days, but my hair is a lot thicker now. I've got more length and that's what I like about uh, straightening natural hair as opposed to having a relaxer. With the relaxer it always felt like lifeless and limp so I never really wore my hair out. I was always putting you know U-part wigs in. Well, those U-part wig days were the best <laughs> but yeah I never wore my hair out when it was relaxed because it didn't have enough you know body and volume. Um, this is perfect though. I really like how my hair feels though guys. It is so soft. And this product here is like really moisturizing it. It doesn't feel dry. But look at that guys. It is definitely straight. And like I said it still has movement. Honestly I'm loving this because my hair feels healthy and that's what I'm going for. It's always going to be healthy hair over everything else. Oh, okay, so when I'm not using it for a while, it warns me that it's still on. That's what that sound was. So then I just pressed the power button and it gave me a tick um, that I guess it's recognized that I'm still using it. And this is how much charge I have left. Um, and this was keeping it on the dock in between uh, use. So if I'm not straightening my hair from scratch and I just want to maybe bump my ends or something like that or just, you know, run the flat iron through it like in a short amount of time, I can definitely just use it without, you know, keeping it on the dock. All right, so that's it, guys. I need to stop brushing my hair, but it feels so good. And I can easily use like my magic rollers on this or you know put some flexi rods in this you know if I want to just switch it up a little bit um, do I like the product yes I do because I wanted to invest you know in a good quality straightener um, I love the design of the straightener like I do the air wrap styler 
it's definitely a splurge but I didn't mind doing that because like I said you know I wanted to invest in them so that is it for um, my results with the air up styler and the corral straightener um, I hope you enjoyed this video you found it informative if you're looking to splurge on some you know hair products or some hair tools um, yeah definitely check out these Dyson products I have read a lot of positive reviews about it but I also wanted to come to you guys and show you how it works on you know 4c you know textured hair because a lot of the reviews are on you know people who don't have 4c hair so that's always going to be a different story um, but yeah this is what I was able to bring to you so thank you so much for watching guys again I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads thanks for watching again guys and I'll see you in my next one bye Thank you.